Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to be showing you my must-have drugstore hair products from shampoos, conditioners, oil treatments, um, and ah, some dry shampoos. So let's go ahead and get started. I've been using most of these products for a long time now. That's how I know they're my must-haves. I need to pick them up every time I go. These products work so well with my hair. So let's just get started with, I guess, shampoo because it's the first thing I do when I get in the shower. So unfortunately, I do not have the shampoo here with me because I finished it up and it accidentally got thrown out, but I will insert a picture here. This is the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. I love this stuff because it really, really, really deep cleans my hair. My scalp gets all the oils out, that built up dirt, like the built up hairspray, dry shampoos. Now, clarifying shampoos are so important because like I said, it really deep cleans your hair, makes it so squeaky clean, gets out any buildup that you may have had from the last few days. Now, you shouldn't be using a clarifying shampoo daily unless it's a daily clarifying shampoo because sometimes it can make your hair a little too dry. If you are looking for something to get all the oils and buildup out of your hair, definitely go for a daily clarifying shampoo, not just some clarifying shampoos are weekly. Definitely make sure you're getting a daily one and this product, like I said a million times already, makes my hair so squeaky clean. If you have an oily scalp, a daily clarifying shampoo is definitely for you and I highly recommend this one. So now for conditioner, I only mentioned that one shampoo because it literally is my absolute favorite shampoo. I don't have any others to really talk about. As far as conditioners go, I really love this Bedhead Resurrection Conditioner. This is really, really great for damaged or dry hair. When I um, put conditioner or any treatments in my hair, I just do it from like the the mid shaft down. I don't do my whole head because then my scalp will be a little bit greasy, but I love this stuff. This is really, really good. It makes your hair really nice and silky smooth. Perfect for weak, brittle hair that needs an intervention, and that's my hair. If you do color your hair, lighten it at all, like the ends, if you have an ombre or balayage or anything that requires um, lightening the ends of your hair, I would definitely recommend this. It really, really helps my hair look shiny and healthy. Another shampoo is this Sunkissed Blonde Lemon Highlights Conditioner. This is a tropical blend of brightening lemon citrus oil to enhance shimmery sunlit highlights all year long with rich coconut oil to smooth and add shine while exotic key lime extract takes you away to a sensual paradise. I love this because it smells like lemons and I'm obsessed with lemons. It's not like an overwhelming lemon pine salt scent. It's like a lemony coconut and it just smells so good. I love anything with lemon, a lemon taste, a lemon scent. I love it. I think it's really, really fresh. This is by Organics. So I find that it makes my hair smell good. It makes it shiny and super silky and smooth. So I definitely would recommend this product. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. Ew moist three minute miracle moist I don't get why it doesn't say three minute miracle mask it's just moist that is so disgusting but it's three times the moisture this is dripping three times the moisture in three minutes is a deep conditioning for damaged dews this is really awesome basically when I get in the shower I sh the first thing I do is wet my hair shampoo my hair put conditioner in rinse it out then I'll put this mask in and then I'll go and wash my body, shave, wash my face and leave this in the whole time until the second I get out of the shower then I'll rinse it out really quick. This is also really great to help the shine in your hair to restore some moisture, help those kind of frayed ends just stick back together again and yeah I really love this stuff. It smells great too. All the products that I've mentioned smell really good. I'm sure you guys are the same way. I really love when hair care smells so like delicious and scrumptious and clean and this definitely smells really good. Highly recommend this if your hair is damaged, dry, if your ends are frayed or anything like that. So when I get out of the shower, I will towel dry my hair a little bit, get all the excess water out, I'll brush my hair, then I'll put in this It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love to just spray this on my wet hair. My natural hair is not curly, it's very pin straight like this. So I don't have a problem with knots when I get out of the shower, but I do find that when I spray this in my hair, it just makes it so much easier to just brush through. It makes it 
so silky and soft so I like to keep this in whoa so I like to keep this in while my hair dries a little bit I'm not someone who gets out of the shower and puts a blow dryer to my hair I do let my hair air dry about 95% of the way then I'll just smooth it out with a blow dryer really quickly so this I like to leave in my hair while it's getting that air dry effect and then once my hair is 95% dry I will go in with my oils sometimes I do what I like to call cocktailing and I will cocktail my oil I will do like a pump of each oil that I have mix it all together run it through my hair but the oils that I really love to use I'm mentioning this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Um, it isn't necessarily a drugstore product. They do sell it at drugstores, but I'll tell you what I mean by that. When I went to Paul Mitchell School, they did tell us, I don't know if this is true or not, but this is what we were taught. These products are only sold by Paul Mitchell Salons. Um, Paul Mitchell does not have any type of deal with Dwayne Reed, CVS, Walgreens, and they are sold there. So we were told that if you do find Paul Mitchell products in a drugstore, they are either super old, tampered with, not really the real product. These are only guaranteed when sold by a Paul Mitchell professional or a Paul Mitchell salon. It even says it on the back, so I wouldn't recommend getting this in the drugstore, but I did want to mention sis. I did want to mention it since drugstores do sell it. Like I said, this is the Super Skinny Serum. This smooths and conditions. It smells like apples. It smells so good. It's like fresh apples. I love it so much. I will put this in my hand, rub it around, and just put it mostly on the ends of my hair. I don't like to put the oils on the top, just like the conditioners. I like to leave it from like the mid shaft here down and really condition the ends. Another oil that I like is this Organics Smoothing Shea Butter Liquid Glass Serum. This smells like coconuts. And I will do the same exact thing with that, rub it on my hands, put it on the ends of my hair. One of my all-time, all-time favorite oils is this BioSilk oil. This has been around for so long. It, it, it is the best smelling hair oil. I'm sure most of you know what this is. If you have not tried this, you definitely need to. It smells so good and it works amazing. You have to be careful with it because it is a little bit more of a heavy serum. So you don't want to use too much because then you'll ruin your hair and you'll have to wash it all over again and nobody has time for that. So. This really like takes me back to when I was younger. I used to use this in my hair all the time. It smells so good. I wish I had a perfume that smelled like this. It's really amazing. Highly recommend this oil. I love putting oils in my hair just before I blow dry them. And when I do that, I just find that after my hair is 100% dry, it just feels so much better than if I didn't put any oils or hair care products in my hair. So if you're someone who doesn't use oils and you've never tried them before and you find that after you blow dry your hair it's a little dry and the ends are frayed a little bit, definitely get some type of oil or serum. I swear it will change your life. Now if I am curling my hair or putting a straightening iron to it, I definitely want to use a heat protectant spray. I don't only use a heat protect protectant spray before I put an iron to it, but I also like to use these sprays before I even put the blow dryer to it, just to ensure that it's 100% being protected from the heat. The two that I love the most is this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Shine Spray, and then this L'Oreal Paris Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Now, both of these have 450 degree protection, I think. This one doesn't say what it protects up to, but I think it like requ it's required to protect up to 450%. I heard that somewhere. I don't know if it's true. But these are awesome just to kind of spray all in your hair to make sure your hair is being protected from the heat because the heat is what gives our hair the most damage aside from, aside from coloring our hair. But these are really great. This one I love to spray on before I flat iron my hair because I don't know what it does, but it instantly shines it and instantly like just takes the ends of my hair and just seals them together as if my hair doesn't have any dead ends, split ends, or anything like that. So this is perfect for that. If you find that when you're straightening your hair or curling it, the ends again are really frayed and not shiny and silky like you would want it to be, definitely try the L'Oreal Paris Sleek and Iron Straight Heat Spray. This stuff is amazing for that for the iron especially, and I really love this for when I'm blow drying my hair. Now for dry shampoo. 
I'm gonna mention this Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. This is really, really great. This one smells like lemons too. So citrusy and fresh and clean. I absolutely love it. This stuff is so awesome. It almost like instantly lifts your roots and gives you that extra body. I'll even use this when my hair isn't greasy or dirty or anything. Even if I just get out of the shower and I'm trying to get my hair a little bit more volume, I will still use this in my root. Like I said, if it's not dirty, it doesn't matter. But if it is greasy and oily and dirty and gross, when I spray this in, it like sucks up those oils and gives me that first day hair look. I, I swear by this stuff, it's so awesome. I want to be honest with you, I don't even know if this is sold in the drugstore. I can't remember. It's possibly sold in a drugstore, maybe Target or something. I don't know. I will link all this stuff below where you can find it. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really good. The next dry shampoo, dry shampoo that I'm going to mention is just classic baby powder. This stuff I swear by. Ugh. Ugh. This is my favorite dry shampoo. And I'm saying dry shampoo because I know it's not really a dry shampoo. But this powder, I think, gets my hair the most clean. You know, that clean look, I feel I get the most from baby powder. I really do. I just feel like this is a classic. We all have this in our houses already. So you don't have to go out, rush and buy a dry shampoo if you ran out of yours. You can definitely use baby powder. You can either sprinkle it in your hand, which I don't do. I usually just sprinkle it into the root and everything the same thing I would do with dry shampoo and just move it all around in my hair you basically want to go like this as if you're using regular shampoo and really rub it in there sometimes it's just better to stick with the classics and stick with the stuff that you already have I love baby powder for a dry shampoo that's all for this video guys so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in my next one and I hope you all have a great day thanks so much for watching